Hey everyone, it's Will, Gamer Dad, with another video for you. So, my friend and I were talking about his progress in the game, and he's actually gotten caught up in the uh, Discord with uh, the Lavager Hunt. And so, I decided to give him a hand and see what we can do in order to defeat this tough boss for him. Now, if you haven't already, make sure you like and subscribe to my channel, I really appreciate it. I also do have a Patreon account for those who want to support me this way. So of course we are using much newer units than when I first beat Lavager. I'll actually put a link of my original clear in the um, you know, description below. And um, we're going to use a very similar strategy to what we used before. Now Starkey can counter heal and so a lot of the attacks that are AoE, he can actually um, heal your team up as well as um, kind of restore all statuses including the sleep status. Make sure that your healer or tank does have the sleep resistance badge Otherwise, he will not heal because he will be put to sleep as well. In this case, we're going to actually try using a Crystal Zone Clear and using a um, very powerful unit, Ultra Xion or Leia, as well as Alma as our DPS. Very similar to the one team to rule them all, so to speak. Now, uh, don't get caught up with the hype. Um, this team actually lost, and this is going to be my first failed attempt recorded on the video. And I actually want to show you that even with very powerful units and really optimal setup, sometimes, uh, you know, you do have to modify uh, your strategies in order to beat boss. Keep in mind that I actually have beaten it already, and I still have difficulty in uh, kind of formulating the correct um, strategy, not for not only for an elegant clear, of course, but to help, um, you know, my friend clear this off. So my um, thinking was I was going to try to do a no AF strat, um, whereas in um, you know, my previous clears, I had to do a couple of AS in order to break it. Remember that the boss has a barrier, nine nine, uh, it gets a 100% barrier unless you remove it by killing enough times of the mobs, and you can only kill one of each every turn or so, otherwise it kind of regenerates its 10 of each stacks, in which case um, you die. And notice that I did die just straight up, even with the tank at the 50% HP stopper, um, you do get hit with a starburst which can do tremendous amounts of damage. So you know what? My friend did give me the opportunity and uh, ability to use some of his precious resources and materials in order to sidegrade one of the units uh, that I think would really help in this fight. Uh, we're going to sidegrade from Radius to AS Radius. Um, he has way more of the treatises than I do. I actually, I think I only have two. And so in his account, he's now sidegraded uh, yet another unit from his wide stash of chance and resources. Now that being said, now we do have a suitable team to take on Lavager. I would say that honestly, we probably could have taken it on with Starkey, but the thing is RNG, um, especially having um, Orlea being put to sleep was a big problem in order to get her boosts, buffs, and so on and so forth and tinker with everything. So in this second attempt, we're actually changing our team a little bit. Uh, we use RCF instead of Orlea, and the reason for that is since we now have AS Radius tanking everything, she's actually only level 1, is not required to do anything. All she has to do is cast her Chivalry, which basically tanks everything kind of like a pry. You can do that up to 3 times with no penalty. Take you can either do it 3 in a row, or whenever you need it. In this case, we're going to actually do all 3 in a row. And note that because she can tank everything, we don't have to worry about any RNG of our team being slept. We still start out the same way, we're going to VC in and set Crystal Zone. Now, I actually also slowed down my Ultra Xion such that RCF acts first. Now remember that Chivalry is actually a preemptive move, and the reason why I wanted RCF to act first is because I wanted him to use Cannon de Ferra to lock in Crystal Zone. Remember that Crystal Zone punishes enemies who are weak to its attack, and so having that extra DPS and modifiers is great. And also don't forget that Ultra Xion can also act as weakness multiplier, um, which means that if you do attack an enemy with weakness, it does additional damage. Um, I think RCF actually does that as well with Lunatic, which is activated through his Cannon de Ferra. So you're actually stacking multiple uh, weakness multipliers and you have the Grudge Spark, which increases um, our type damage of Crystal by 75%, decreases the enemy's Crystal Resistance by 75%, and you can clearly see that with Alter Akemia bypassing Barrier, we did essentially one hit, brought it right to the HP Stopper, and note that Chivalry still tanked everything. That's turn 3, 
and turn four. We're just going to do that again. We are using attack order to guarantee a preemptive break on the enemy, and the reason for that is so that we can hit for maximum damage with our Alma. And after that, all we had to do is show you the loadout. My friend actually had to finish the quest since you, he only did it for the very first time. I would say key elements to this fight is not only the sleep resistance badge, you also do want multiple copies of the uh, Grasta Ord debuff proficiency Grasta because if you don't, your uh, DPS can be debuffed in which case int and power debuff will decrease your damage by a lot. Good luck with your lavender hunt! Thanks for watching! We'll see you next time.